What I am attempting to show here is the shaving action of a relieved reamer. Please note the vertical orientation of the cutting blades that shave dentin away rather than simply embedding themselves into the dentinal walls. The vertical blades direct the debris into the troughs along the length of the reamer as well as the space created by the flat along the reamer's length. Upon the pull stroke, minimal removal of dentin occurs because the blades are in the same plane as the plane of motion. The poor ability to remove dentin with the pull stroke minimizes the instrument's ability to cause distortions in the middle and apical thirds. The more vertical flute orientation reduces the number of flutes engaging dentin. Less engagement translates into less resistance along length producing superior apical negotiation. To observe the greatest shaving efficiencies of remas both unrelieved and relieved, we cut back a canine so only one wall was exposed. Enough of the canal anatomy remained to demonstrate the reamer's ability to shave dentin from the canal walls as a horizontal reciprocating motion is applied. Please note the shavings that result from the horizontal reciprocating motion. In contrast, please note when a K-file with its horizontally oriented flutes is used with a watch winding motion, minimum dentin is shaved away because the flutes being in the same plane as the plane of motion engage and disengage from the canal walls but do not shave dentin away. Hopefully this simple demonstration validates the usage of remas both unrelieved and relieved over the traditional use of K-files.